Hello, my beautiful besties. It's your girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. For today's video, I received a PR package and this is from the Nail Reserve. They were kind enough to send me some more of their shades and I can't wait to show you how beautiful these colors are. So there are seven shades that I received and I will swatch all of them, but I wanted to start by showing you um, how they look just right out of the bottle. These are very, very beautiful shades. Um, I love their packaging. I love the viscosity of their gels, how pigmented they are. They are great quality and I have a discount code Bessie. So if you like any of these colors or if you want to check out their website, um, there will be a link in my description box and also a discount code with, um, I believe it's a 50% off uh, discount code and Bestie, take advantage, get you some colors. Um, I love this brand. I have been working with them for a while and I definitely recommend them. So I wanted to try their white, I wanted to try their black, I wanted um, purple for Halloween season and I also wanted some um, fall colors. Um, so uh, these colors are so beautiful. This purple is absolutely gorgeous. I know all you purple lovers are going to agree with me, but uh, wait until you see the swatches. So for the most part, um, they are one coat coverage, although there were three different shades that did require a second coat. And I mean, that's completely fine. You want to make sure that when you apply um, gels, that you want to do it in thin layers, especially depending on how pigmented they are. Because if you apply too much gel, then it's not going to cure properly and it'll probably wrinkle. Another thing that could actually and potentially cause that um, might be the lamp. I'm telling you this because um, a few months ago when I, for some reason, I started noticing that every time I apply gel polish, it started to wrinkle on the sides. And I thought it was that I was applying too much, but it was in fact one of the lights inside of the lamp. It was kind of flickering. So because it was doing that it would wrinkle the gel polishes so before you start working with gel polishes make sure that your lamp is all set um this color right here oh my god it is so beautiful so gorgeous you know i love my blues so yes and it is a cat eye so it is a really really gorgeous color I'm telling you, Bestie, I 100% recommend them. I have a discount code. Feel free to use that if you guys are interested. And I just wanted to have some fun with today's set. So let's see what I come up with. And here are all the colors. I told you, Bestie, they were gonna be beautiful. I love their colors. I always have and I always will. <laughs> so right now, this is, uh, I'm gonna start my set. So the first thing I do is because I already have 
product on my nails and I don't want to keep the sets for too long I use a peel off method this is the third peel off method that I have used um, I like it it's really good they come off easily um, even though I have product on my nails so all I do is just apply a thin coat and then I have to wait for it to air dry after that then I go in over with uh, just some random top coat that I have <laughs> on my desk and after I finish applying that I do a full cure for 60 seconds now check out what happened to me bestie <laughs> so it would not turn on so my lamp officially died my mini lamp from uh from um born pretty <laughs> finally died so I had to apply the tips off camera so for monomer, I am using my Young Nails monomer. And to help with the smell off monomer, I have this Mia Secret Drops. They're good. Um, they're not great. Um, I mean, it's still, you can still smell it. But hey, anyways. So Dynamic. Dynamic acrylics are incredibly easy to use. They are definitely beginner friendly. They are six dollars for one ounce so the price is amazing their customer service is absolutely amazing as well the colors are beautiful i have uh different colors i recently hauled this acrylic on my last video and i couldn't wait to try it i was debating on whether to do a nude color or a pink one so i have been looking for pink acrylics for a while and I found some so I am very excited um, I love this brand it is so 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 easy to use and bestie they are affordable so what else do you want honestly and I mean mind you I have not been working with acrylic for very very long and as you can see it is working beautifully so for my acrylic application I don't really explain much because I am still learning I'm still trying to get used to different acrylics and their consistencies and how to get my liquid to powder ratio which um, is kind of hard if you change brands constantly which I kind of do sometimes <laughs> um, but hey I'm working on it I have been doing nails for with acrylic for uh, several months I can't really remember at this point but keep practicing bestie it takes time I don't really count the beats anymore um, I just use whatever you know however many beats I need to just get this set done I will show you two nails now after I finish the application of the pink I go in with clear acrylic uh, to encapsulate and then I do my shaping and filing off camera so I'll be right back And I take this moment and give my shout outs. So shout out to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos. Shout out to everyone who likes, comments, and share my videos. It helps me out a lot here on YouTube. Shout out to everyone who's new to my channel. Welcome to my nail group, bestie. Thank you so much for joining the crew. Shout out to my lovely and amazing nail sisters. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Um, and shout out to the Nail Reserve because you guys have one of my favorite uh, products um, I love their gel polishes uh, actually they're one of my favorite brands and thank you so much for the opportunity to collaborating with me um, one more time
So here I'm using my Mia Secret Clear and I'm just going to encapsulate the nails and after I am finished with the encapsulation, I will show you what the nails look like and then I will show you what the nails look like after shaping and filing. So this is what the nails look like after application and now I'm going to show you what the nails look like after shaping and filing. So now I'm going in with uh, some nail um, attic top coat. Um, that was uh, this brand called before. Now it's known as Nail Reserve but before it used to be called Nail Addict. Um, so it is the same brand. I'm just going over with some top coat um, because I'm doing nail art. And after I finish applying that, I do a full cure for 60 seconds. So now, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do for the set. I've seen so many inspos from Instagram and Pinterest. I couldn't choose. I, I, I kind of incorporated different sets into today's set. Different designs uh, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line uh, right down the middle. This is really hard and if you have a hard time doing lines, um, as you can see my pinky, I'm resting my pinky on my hand and you're gonna see that I um, balance my nail that way. Um, you're gonna see that I try to balance my hand um, while doing the nail art. So right now I'm going to use that beautiful purple and I'm going to do a half French. So um, this design, I really can't remember. I know I saw it and I should have taken a picture of it so that I could, you know, shout out the person properly. I know I saw this inspo on Instagram and the person had the entire hand just like this, this exact same design. I did change something um, in the design just to kind of make it my own. Um, I mean, it is okay for you to recreate sets as long as you're giving people shout outs um unfortunately i forgot to take a picture so that i could give the person the shout out so if you if you've seen this design uh let me know in the comment section so that I, everybody knows who created this set after applying the purple to the rest of the half of the nail <laughs> i do a full cure for 60 seconds and now i'm outlining that french with white um, the reason for that is because I wanted to use all three colors. I wanted to use the purple, the black, and the white in today's set. Again, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Uh, my head was going all over the place thinking, what can I do for this nail? And should I do the same thing for other nails or just keep it to one nail? So this design, um, I only did it on my index finger. For the other half of the nail, I'm going to attempt to do <laughs> a spider web. Um, this was quite an experience. Um, I'm not going to say I had a hard time because I didn't. Um, as you can see, I am balancing my hand with my pinky. I rest my pinky on uh, my hand and that way I'm able to balance the, the way I hold the brush. So that is definitely key when you're trying to do lines. Another thing is don't apply too much pressure. The more pressure you apply to the brush, the thicker or um, yeah, the thicker the lines will be um, and the lighter you know you put pressure, the thinner the lines will be. So let me know in the comments what you think of this design so far. This is by far my favorite nail for some reason, aside from the bling nail. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. So 
So to kind of give it my own touch, I decided to do some stitches on um, the French side of the nail. Um, that is something that I decided to add. So for my pinky, I decided to do a French nail um, using that beautiful purple color. And I kind of do the same thing I did for my index finger. I did outline the French with the white and I did the stitches and then I, my mind, which just, it just went blank. Like I didn't know what to do <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Should I continue to attempt nail art, which I'm not completely great, or what else do I have? So I started searching on my drawers and I found uh, stamping plates that I have not used since uh, October last year. And I figure I give them, you know, a try again. And I had the best experience. So if you're not very great with nail art, sis, get you some stamping plates and you're going to see how fun this is. I did a video on how to do stamping a long time ago. <laughs> so if you need me to do another video on how to do it, um, just tips and tricks that I've learned over the years, um, I will definitely let you know. This is definitely fun once you get the hang of it. It was very frustrating for me at first. I first purchased my first stamping plates right when I first started doing nails. This was um, almost three years ago maybe. And I couldn't get stamping. Like it wasn't working for me at all. And the problem was um, I couldn't get the images to stick to the stamper. Um, so because of that reason, I could not transfer, obviously, the image onto my nail. So I had to, I just, I got tired of trying. I watched hundreds of videos. And you know what my issue was, Bestie? It was my solution. The solution to my problem was right here in my house, in my kitchen. I just needed some dish soap. So if you purchase a stamping plate and you can't get the images on the stamper, wash the stamper with um, warm water and dish soap. That's all you have to do, bestie. After that, it was history. No more issues. I was able to transfer beautifully. I do love warm, pretty uh, stamping polishes. They're absolutely great. They're the first ones that actually work for me. And these are the only two colors that I have, which is the black and the, and the white, which is exactly the reason why I'm kind of painting inside of that image with the gel polish. You can do so many things with stamping, um, stamping art. And as you can see, I'm just trying to, you know, create something with it. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Let me know if you've ever tried stamping or if you are considering, um, purchasing stamping. I do have a uh, discount code if you're willing or if you want to purchase some of Born Pretty's um, stamping plates and stamping polishes. I 100% recommend them. They're absolutely great. Um, so I do have an affiliate link and a discount code and all of that will be available on in my description box is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I can't speak today, Bestie. I'm sorry. <laughs> So um, I'm going to let you enjoy watching a little bit more of my stamping, you know, experience and I'll be right back. So that is what the nails look like so far. And now it's time for some bling. So of course you already know, I will use my 
favorite bling gel, which is from Lisette's website. Also, the bling boxes are also from Lisette's website in case you guys are interested. Go ahead and shop at lgnpro.com and get you some nice and beautiful rhinestones. She has other products there. Um, she recently launched some new colors and a gorgeous new bling box. <laughs> So definitely take advantage, um, you know, uh, and get you some nice bling boxes. So um, as you can see, I kind of put everything together before applying it to the nail. It kind of saves time from having to guess which, you know, which rhinestone should I apply or how many of them. I just like to set up everything um, and then apply it to the nail. So once I finish, um, applying the rhinestones i do a full cure for 60 seconds so the beauty about that gel which i had already applied onto the index nail is that it is non-wipe so if you're not familiar with her products her bling gel is absolutely amazing i 100 percent recommend it um and the beauty about it is that you don't have to go over it with top coat all you have to do is just apply the gel apply your rhinestones, give it a good cure, and you're all set to go bestie. So another thing I decided to add, and it's something I never used before, are chains. So she sent me some uh, chains in the um, package that Lisa fixed for me and she sent out to me. She was very nice and kind. You know, she sent me some products and I am in love with everything. <laughs> So this is the first time I use the chains ever in my life. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was an experience, but I love how this set turned out. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying two beads because I'm going to apply some um, spider, um, what should I call them? Spider, spider gems, spider, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This spider is right here. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Thank you so much for watching, Bestie. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.